Hello everyone in YouTube land, and Nintendo fanboy also back here as always. Alright, this is going to be a quick topic. This is really interesting. Um, it was brought up during EA's press conference. For those that don't know, E3 is going on right now. Um, EA's was the first. I believe today is Microsoft's, so yeah, anyways. I'm going to jump right into this um, topic here. But it was brought up during EA's press conference, which is really interesting. I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. Definitely have to do a video about this. This is really interesting. And it's also very scary too. Just like how digital was. Dig digital gaming is very scary because a lot of people want to own their games. Simple as that, alright? We don't need to explain ourselves why we love physical, okay? Call us, call people old school, whatever. I like to buy my games physical. I can own them. Because I have them. Stick my game into the system and play it. There you go. Um... Instead of using up all the room on my system, and then there you go. I guess it's not reliable. And now this, streaming games, is what we're talking about in this video. An all streaming future, whatever you want to call it. It's very scary and very weird. I don't know. Very complicated. I don't know the whole bandwidth thing or whatever. I don't know how far along this is, like maybe 15, 20 years from now. It's nothing to get worried about right now, but it's still fun to talk about, I guess, but it's still scary and weird. I don't want nothing I don't want nothing to do with this. I don't want any part of this. But I will definitely probably upload more videos about this if, you know, like, oh yeah, we have streaming boxes. That's if Nintendo, Microsoft, or Sony actually comes out with boxes and be like, nope, no more. Like, I mean, they could easily do that if you think about it. No more is physical. No more nothing. You have your controller and your in your box. And maybe you update it every couple of years and that's it. But I don't know how that's possible. I really don't know how that's possible. Um, would the games even run that smooth? Um, with the whole Resident Evil 7 cloud version on Switch in Japan, I don't think that's coming out over here. I mean, I could care less because I don't care about Resident Evil 7, but I'm using that as an example. Like, I heard people were playing it in Japan and people were it's okay, it runs alright, but there's still some problems and laggy or something like that, so... But that's what people are worrying about, it's just not, like, reliable. But I play this game, is it gonna be reliable? I mean, even online games too, like... Hell, look at online games now! Like, we're playing... Name any game that has an online function or online mode or whatever, I mean, most, major... A lot of games have even tacked on multiplayer online modes in single player games, which is stupid in my opinion, but... I don't play a lot of online games. I'm not the biggest online gamer. I like Mario Kart. I love Splatoon. I love Smash. Some Mario Sports games once in a while. But I'm not the biggest online gamer. I like single player games mostly. But yeah, I don't play a lot of shooters. I don't play a lot of shooters. It's mainly Mario Kart and Smash and Splatoon. That is it. Like That's pretty much about it. Yeah, I'm not a... No, like, I, just, I just don't. I like single player games. Investing my time in a world and that's it. But, yeah, I, huge with Mario Kart Online, Smash, and Splatoon. But, online games, even still now, in 2018, they're not reliable. I mean, not everyone has a perfect internet connection still to this day. So, what makes you think streaming games is going to be reliable? Like, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work out for a lot of people, especially people that live, I guess, in really rural areas. Hell, people with normal internet that, that just like to surf the net to the web, like, just don't have a perfect internet connection for that and even streaming Netflix and Hulu and all that stuff people don't have that I have a great internet connection because I live in town and I just do have a perfect internet connection my internet provider is in the last couple of years has been improving they have been improving and they changed their name I used to have Charter and now they're a Spectrum so I don't know if anyone has that but anyways yeah like just I mean when you thought about I guess 10 years ago no one ever thought about streaming, maybe 10 years ago, maybe a little over 10 years ago, people never thought about streaming movies or TV shows to their TV, or their phone, or their laptop, or no, no one thought about that. That is just like, even though Netflix was still around, because they had been around for a while, I guess, but just the thought of streaming anything like that, Hulu is very still new, like, this, Hulu is still new. Streaming movies and TV shows, TV shows are, it's new. I mean, I stream it on my smart TV, and that's, that's it, that's great, I love that, but... Talking about games is a whole nother animal, I think. It's a whole nother thing. It's a whole nother, whole nother beast. I mean, gaming is movies and TV shows. You watch it maybe a couple times. Maybe maybe you rewatch a season or maybe you watch a movie a couple times when it's on there, like Netflix or Hulu. Or when they put a big movie on Netflix or something like that, you want to watch it over and over again. Um, 
but games are totally new. I mean, they're totally different. Games take a couple of hours, maybe even like a week to beat. Not everyone has time to play a game, you know, to sit through a game. People have time to maybe sit through a movie, and when you're off, I guess, you're just like, yeah, I'll sit through a two-hour movie or an hour. There you go. Beat it. I mean, done. Watched it. Whatever. Or I watched that season. It's there. It'll be there for a couple months or maybe a year. I don't know. <laughs> but when you're playing a game and you're just like, it takes a, about a week, maybe a couple weeks, maybe even a month. Maybe even a month to beat a game. I don't know. It, it, it just, I don't know what your schedule is, whatever. It depends on what the type of game it is, whatever. And once, say you didn't beat it, say you didn't have enough time to beat it, and guess what? The game's gone. They take it away. You're just like, oh, okay. I don't even own the game, so I can't fucking play it again. Just go fucking buy it. You know what I mean? Just go fucking buy it. Shit, I'd rather do digital. Digital is actually looking good now. And all digital future is actually looking better than a streaming future. <laughs> when, you, when you actually think about it, you're just like, all streaming future, like a box or whatever it fucking is, Nintendo, Microsoft, or Sony does it. That's not, that's scary. That is very weird. Again, it's something I don't want to go near, anywhere near. Uh, I just, I don't want to go near that. Okay, that's just, it's weird. And I don't understand it. Change is weird, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. They say you need to adapt to survive, but this... When it comes to gaming, that's just not my thing. I'm not going anywhere with that. It's, just, it's too messy. Too much to think about. Why do I need to think about so much stuff, just, so much shit just to play a fucking game? Like, that's not right to me. It's not, it doesn't sound right to me. Uh, it's very... It, it's just, it's not right. It's very scary. So, comment out below what you think about an all-streaming gaming future. Maybe it'll be here in the next 15, 20 years. Who knows? I don't know. I'll be an old man by then. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know how old life it'll be. It'll be 20... 20, 15, 20 years? I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. We, 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 we never know about anything until it's here. You know, so. But comment down below. Would an all streaming gaming future work for you? Probably not. Just like me. No. I know a lot of people don't like digital. There's some people that do well digital. Even with a Switch because it's just there and it's portable and whatever. So. I just don't know, man. I don't know. So anyways, peace out. Can't wait for Nintendo's digital director spotlight thing or whatever they're calling it on Tuesday. So, let me just peace out later. Bye.